Hello, welcome back. <laughs> it is day one, two, three, four. Um, and you're still watching, so thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. We are now on my fourth ever, fifth if you count the introduction, blog post, which is super exciting for me. Um, if you haven't yet, you're welcome to subscribe to see these. You can subscribe to my blog just down below. And you can subscribe to my blog if you actually want to read the things that I'm reading out loud by going to readray.com. And on the homepage, there's a subscribe option. I will be sending out monthly newsletters very soon. By next year. Coming 2024. <laughs> but this post was posted on July 12th, 2018. Um, I was about to leave on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on July 25th. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think that my whole life was about to change at that time. I was about to turn 19, which is like, whoa, big stuff up. Um, and then... Yeah, being on a mission, I wouldn't be connected to my family as much. I'd be in Canada and just all my time would be dedicated to like studying about God, teaching others about God and Jesus Christ, um, serving others, helping out. So yeah, and not a lot of like, it wouldn't be like, oh, just call my mom here and there like, there's dedicated days and times to do that. Part of my mission, you only did it during holidays and they changed that. So it was, yeah, every week more frequently, which makes good sense. <laughs> um, but you can kind of see in this post, I start to transition already where I, I talk about faith, but I start to include things from psychology. And I love psychology. Can't say I know everything about it, but every once in a while, I'll read a journal. I like to find the direct source um, for statistics, data information. So I'll do that. I wanted to minor in psychology, but I also wanted to get out of school. So I would have, if it weren't for the thought that there were so many transitions within my schooling. That said, let's jump into it. July 12th, 2018, blog title, object permanence. Okay, I feel like I have to adjust my screen there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. Okay. Object permanence is a term in psychology that describes the knowledge that an object exists even when it is not in sight. As infants, humans do not have object permanence. For example, a baby plays with a pencil or say this box. I could take this box, hide it behind my back, and the infant would not protest. Since the object has no visibility to the child, it is though it's disappeared. Maybe even as though it never existed. Of course, there comes an age when children will protest this action. Give me the box. Um, for they realize that just because they can no longer see the object does, mean, does not mean it no longer exists. They develop object permanence. To adults, especially those who do not understand the process of developmental growth, the infants may seem rather naive, silly even. But it is a process every human goes through, a stage everyone experiences. This is the temporal aspect of it. We all also experience a lack of object permanence spiritually. Rather than happening in our early human years, it tends to be later in life. It has been referenced, referenced <laughs> to as the need to see in order to believe. 
For some, it is a justification or explanation as to their lack of belief in God. They cannot see him, so why should he exist? Why believe? The lack of belief has extreme similarities to the lack of object permanence. Perhaps they forget that an object exists even when it is not in sight. God exists even when he is not in sight. Many can testify to this truthfulness. His miracles are present and evident to them. For some, to suggest that God does not exist because a person has not seen him is as silly to suggest that Australia does not exist because a person has not seen it. I have not visited it, but although clearly Australia exists, evidence in Australians can attest to this. Likewise, Others can attest to God's existence with stories of his hand in their lives. Scriptures and other artifacts also serve as, as evidence of him. Sometimes, though, no explaining, witnessing, or evidencing can change a person's mind. Just like in our early years, a person must develop first before they understand. They must develop some form of spiritual object permanence. Likely this means they must show even just a sliver of faith. For both the believers and the non-believers, take patience. Take patience with those still developing their faith. Remember, we all go through spiritual stages. Then, to those who still are unsure of his existence or any other aspects of their belief, take patience with those who do not understand the process, who may have failed to show empathy. Most importantly, take patience with yourself. Faith is a simple concept, but it can have a complex pathway. We all travel this path, even Jesus Christ, the great Redeemer himself did. And to think he did not struggle is wrong. He did. He kept his strength through it all though, so that when we needed it, he could give it to us. So take patience. When needed, take his strength. And when strong, give strength to those who need it. Perhaps at a familiar spiritual spot, developing their object permanence of God. We may not see him face to face, but we can just as surely know he is there when we turn our hearts and minds to God and for even a moment of time, choose to believe. Wow. You know, I always say wow afterward. I think it's because it's been so long since I've read these. I just don't know everything I touch. And I think back about like in the past and I'm like, did I really know I was writing or was things, thing, thing, were things just messy and all over the place? But you can see some messages in there and yeah, I feel like Obviously these things matter to me, so reading about them years later speaks to me. I would I would encourage anyone to write down things that matter to them and look back and read about it. You might have some laughs, but also they'll have some things that help reinvigorate you. Cause I'm starting to feel that right now. I hope you guys like that. Thank you for sticking with this. Again, feel free to subscribe or if you just wanna Check in whenever you feel like it, go ahead. I also have an Instagram you can keep up with and I hope you all have a good day. <laughs>